Aqua's choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network. Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. We begin tonight in Carbon County where a car chase has now turned deadly. It was last night after five that officials say a 17 mile chase started in Beaver Meadows. That's when an officer attempted to pull over a van with New Jersey plates for vehicle code violations. The driver took off leading police along Route 93 in Jim Thorpe and other communities to Route 209 in Franklin Township near Lehighton. During that time, several items were seen being thrown from the van. Using vehicle spike strips, the van was stopped, but those inside refused to get out. That's when state police investigators say a municipal police officer's weapon discharged during a struggle. 27-year-old Danny Washington of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, was struck and he later died at the hospital. Michael Knight Jr., Cedric Kaysen, Tyrone Parker Jr. and Creshawn Caldwell, again all from Florida, were arraigned today and are behind bars. A search turned up blank checks along Route 93, believed to have been thrown from the van. Police have not identified the officer or department involved and that investigation is still continuing. Hazelton police have charged a Barnesville man after police say he was found with drugs. Officers charged 23-year-old Austin Digen with possession of a controlled substance and drug paraphernalia after police say they received information of a drug deal happening in the area of Hanover Court and 17th Street. When officers stopped Digen, he took off on foot. When he was stopped, he was found to have 80 bags of heroin on him. Digen was taken back to police headquarters for processing and found to be out on probation in Schuylkill County. He was turned over to Schuylkill's probation office. Sean Christie, again acting as his own attorney before a magistrate yesterday. He asked twice for state burglary charges against him be dismissed and twice the requests were denied. Christie was appearing via video from his jail cell on burglary charges while on the run from officials this past summer. He was wanted for allegedly threatening President Trump and other officials on Facebook. The 27-year-old McAdoo man was taken into custody in Ohio in September. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges and is being held in the Lackawanna County Prison. Local law enforcement are warning the public to once again be aware of scams especially around this holiday season. The Butler Township Police Department learned of at least three calls being made this week by someone claiming to be with the Social Security Administration. The scammer calls and tells the victim that their Social Security number has been discontinued. Police advise people to never give out personal information, such as a social security number, over the phone. If you feel that you've been a victim of a phone scam, you're advised to contact your local police department. Hazelton's Civil Service Commission voting unanimously Tuesday to reject recommendations made by the Federal Department of Justice for identifying bilingual police applicants, creating a new bilingual police classification, and options for gauging the proficiency of an applicant's secondary language skills. The federal agency pitched these recommendations to the city after it received language access complaints when a previous administration was in office. City officials say the civil service regulations were developed in accordance with state law and contain specific language that promotes equal opportunity for hiring and disciplining employees. 
According to the mayor and city solicitor, the Department of Justice, not the city, suggested the changes in the three years since the federal agency started negotiating with the city on a language access plan. Two commission members said they'd consider supporting the changes if civil service regulations were changed at the state level for all third-class cities, while one member opposed changes altogether. Federal officials, however, were pushed for court-certified interpreters and having Spanish-speaking officers tested to determine their proficiency, but aren't offering a way for the city to pay for those services. A court-ordered interpreter would cost $150 to $350 per hour, which can become extremely expensive if the department had to rely on those services for taking statements during a complex call, such as a shooting incident. The Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins are home tonight, and if you are going to the game, you will have the first opportunity to go through the new stand-up metal detectors recently installed at Mohegan Sun Arena at Casey Plaza. This is phase one of the new security that is being upgraded at the arena in Wilkes-Barre Township. The second phase of new security goes into effect January 1st. What will that mean? No purses backpacks, diaper bags, camera bags, etc. will be allowed in. Anything brought into the arena then will have to be in a large clear plastic bag. Pennsylvania is giving out another 23 permits to sell medical marijuana through dispensaries under the state's program that opened for business last February. Locally, sites will be in Scranton and Hazleton. In Scranton on South Main and South Washington Avenues, and here in Hazleton on East Broad Street, which is the site of a former post office. They now have six months to become operational. The State Department of Health said Tuesday that the 23 remaining permits will bring the number of dispensaries to 79 in the Commonwealth, that is, once each location meets the state standards to open. Last year, the department awarded 27 permits. Coming up on WYLN News, we're going to be talking about heading into the holiday season and where you're going to be able to find some entertainment. But first, before we go to break, a check on the forecast. For the overnight, not as bad as last night, the overnight low uh, probably closer to 35 than the 18 we had in some areas early this morning and some rain in the forecast. Stay with us. In preparation for the Christmas season, Antonia's Jewelry and Repair is filled with special collections for this season of joy. We offer a variety of watches, including Oliva. Find diamond jewelry in yellow, white, and rose gold. Engagement rings that can be custom designed so it is one of a kind. Diamond anniversary bands, rings, pennants, earrings, and more. Full service jewelry and watch repairs. Stop in to see Tony, formerly from Howard's Jewelers. Let her help you pick the perfect gift. Antonia's Jewelry and Repair, 289 Airport Road in Hazel Township. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Oh, what fun it is to save during the Big Finish event. Come into All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today. Experience holiday cheer with the new 2018 Ram 1500 Crew Cab with Ram Cargo Management. Save up to $11,750. Or lease a new Dodge Durango SXT all-wheel drive for just $279 a month for 36 months. And get 0% for 60 months plus $1,000 in bonus cash. Oh, what fun it is to save during the Big Finish event at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Congressman Lou Barletta will be going back to private life after serving the public for nearly 
20 years. WILN's Gary Perna spoke with the congressman about his time in public office. On January 3rd, 2019, Lou Barletta will no longer represent the people of the 11th Congressional District. Barletta chose not to run for re-election, instead running for the U.S. Senate, but he lost that race in November to Bob Casey. Barletta is now preparing to leave public life and take some time to reflect on the last nearly 20 years of public service. It's all starting to really sink in now that, you know, finally, you know, after all these years, uh, you know, will not be in public office. And some of the memories of, of the things that, uh, you know, that I've been able to do and what an honor it's been, you know, to be the mayor of your hometown, the town you grew up in, you know, from, from the time I was a little boy. And, uh, you know, just the, um, the fact, the faith and confidence that the people of our area have put in me through all these years and the support that they've given me. And Barlett has said so many things have happened in Hazleton and also in Congress. And he's proud of the Sarah Monahan story, saying it was just something that happened. Little Sarah Monahan, I was only a freshman in Congress and this was no legislation. I just, God just put me in the right place at the right time. I went back on a Monday, we were voting Monday night, and I overheard two Pennsylvania congressmen talking about this little girl named Sarah Murnahan. She was 10 years old. She had cystic fibrosis and needed a lung transplant. Uh, she's on a, she was on a, a list. She was number one on the list for a child's lung. However, it's very rare. So she literally only had a couple weeks to live to get a lung. And her doctors at CHOP in Philadelphia said that Sarah would qualify for an adult lung. It would work on her. Mm -hmm. However, she, she was restricted. She could not get an adult lung because there was a rule that said that you had to be 12 years old to get an adult lung, even though the doctor said it would work. I think God just put me in the right place. The next day, uh, Kathleen Sebelius, who was the Secretary of Health and Human Services, was testifying at one of my committees. And it was on a different topic, and each member gets five minutes to ask questions. I had questions that on the topic, that's what you're supposed to do, ask on the topic. And I remember when it came my turn, I took the questions and threw them on the, on the ground. And I had asked her that would she deny somebody a lung transplant based on the color of their skin? And she said, well, of course not, Congressman. I said, would you deny somebody a lung transplant based on their gender, whether they're male or female? She said, of course we wouldn't. I said, then why are you going to let a little girl die because she's 10 years old and not 12? And you could have heard a pin drop in that room. And she paused and said, well, Congressman, unfortunately, some will live and some will die. Well, her answer went viral across the country. And a federal judge the next week stepped in and said, you cannot deny this girl a lung based on her age. Sarah got a lung. And she's 17 years old, 16 or 17 years old today. And it had nothing to do with legislation, but, right. you know, I just think I was in the right place at the right time. And it's one of the things I'm most proud of. Barletta became nationally known when he took on illegal immigration as mayor of Hazleton. And he said leaving Congress, he's still upset that something still isn't done. But I think my time, what people know, remember best, was my time when I stood up against illegal immigration at a time when no one in America was talking about it and, and how they said that this is not even an issue in this country. And, and uh, you know, to, to stand up before, you know, an entire country and defend your city mm -hmm. uh, was something that, that, you know, I'll never forget. And, you know, here we are today, and it's, it's also one of my biggest regrets as I leave Congress is that as I leave, they still haven't done anything to fix that problem. So, you know, that's one, something that, that I'll never forget. As of January 3rd, Hazleton will now be represented by Congressman Matt Cartwright, a Democrat from Music, Lackawanna County. He will be opening up an office right here where Barletta's office is at the Candu Building at the corner of Broad and Church Streets in Hazleton. In Hazleton, for WYLN News, I'm Gary Perna. A new rail line is slated to be built through parts of Hazel and Banks Townships. Our Julie Stefanovich has more on that story. Over 200 trucks hauling coal travel daily from the Atlantic Carbon Group facility off of Stockton Mountain Road in Hazel Township to another facility owned by the same company near Jeansville. With operations running over 20 hours a day, many residents and area officials are concerned about traffic and environmental impact. 
it's is a coal industry area, but uh, there's got to be some precautions taken, you know, because the people are really suffering. There is no quality of life. They're working 22 hours a day. The CEO and president of the Atlantic Carbon Group says that the company wants to minimize the disruption and work with the community. Plans have been drawn up to create a mile of rail line that will connect to tracks already in operation. Well, instead of sending the trucks uh, on the road, uh, we will simply bring the war coal here, load the trucks up here and in one unit train, so we'll wait till, because we, we can use all of this track. Till this is in place, they get the water, the uh, mud taken off the bottom of the uh, wheels on a truck wash, and then they go onto tarmac. So that'll minimize the dust. The project is expected to be completed within a two month time frame. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. The Borough of Weatherly will hold the line on taxes for the upcoming year. Borough Council unanimously voting on Monday to approve an over $5.3 million spending plan, which will leave property taxes at 6.3 mills. There will also not be an increase on utilities in Weatherly. Council discussed spending around $3,000 to tear down a porch on a blighted house on Hudsondale Street. Two bids were received for the project, but the action was tabled until council finds out what it would cost to take the property owner to court. The public still has time to review the 2019 budget in East Union Township before it's adopted later this month. That was one of the items on the agenda at the most recent meeting. The supervisors also tabled a $5,000 bill from m j Excavating until they can inspect the work done on the Oneida Storm Drain Project. That was done earlier in the year. A public hearing was also scheduled for January 10th at 6 p.m. regarding a conditional use application submitted by Dollar General. The Planning Commission is expected to review the application this week and make recommendations. The 2019 budget there is scheduled to be adopted at a special meeting Thursday, December 27th at 6 p.m. The boat race was on this morning at North Schuylkill's second annual Dutch Kitchen Cup Regatta. Teams of students built their own boats out of cardboard and duct tape and raced the length of the pool up and back. North Schuylkill's computer-aided design classes designed their boats using AutoCAD, then built and raced them. Each team got four sheets of cardboard and four rolls of duct tape to build their boat. Boats were designed for two students to row the length of the pool and back. Eight teams competed this year. And congratulations to second period's CAD team, Boats in Bros. There they are on their victory. Good for them. Cardboard and duct tape. Coming up on Nescapex News Choice, it's Wellness Wednesday and the discussion is on asthma. Stay with us. My name is Jay Delaney. I'm the fire chief of the City of Wilkesbury Fire Department. We want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a happy and a healthy New Year, and please don't forget a working smoke alarm saves lives. Call Whitetail this holiday season for outside catering of all your holiday parties. Gift cards for trap skeet and sporting clays are also available. They're perfect for an experienced shooter, and shooting lessons are always available for first-timers. Call 570-384-2314 or 570-535-6123. Contact Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range this holiday season. Your safety matters to us, and now we've been recognized for it. Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton earned an A in patient safety from LeapFrog Group. This means we're among the best in the nation for patient safety. We provide the expert care you need close to home. Jay, I just wanted you to know when we purchase a dealership, we're facing some tax burdens. We don't take some losses now, we're gonna have to pay the IRS. Okay, Jeff, if that's what we gotta do. I'd rather give it to the customers than give it to the man. So now through the end of the month, all remaining inventory will be sacrificed. Discounts will never be bigger, rebates never larger. Don't miss this tax eliminator sale. I'm gonna take the deal nobody else will even think about taking. Don't forget about our $2,000 New Year's giveaway, now to the end of the month. Well, there's 2,000 we can write off. 
When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. Wellness Wednesday, thanks to our friends at Lehigh Valley Health Network. And today we are on location at the Health and Wellness Center in Hazleton with Dr. Brian Miller. Now, Brian, we're here today to talk a little bit about asthma. You know, I guess for uh, starters, you know, tell me a little bit about the different uh, types of asthma. Sure. Well, thanks for having me. Um, you know, there's a couple of different lung conditions we treat as pulmonologists and, you know, that I think the public should know. One being asthma. Uh, it's something, it's a lung condition that is usually diagnosed at a younger age, but we do have patients who, you know, due to environmental exposures like smoke or allergies, uh, do develop symptoms and the classic symptoms symptoms are usually wheezing or cough and that cough is usually worse at night um, and when we see these symptoms we start to do uh, a certain workup uh, to look for asthma. Uh, asthma is a reversible condition. Uh, it's usually triggered by something in the environment. Uh, asthma does tend to run in families though. There is a genetic component and after we do uh, certain diagnostic tests like breathing tests, um, we'll usually do an x-ray too. Uh, and sometimes we do blood work to see uh, if there's anything uh, that points us in that direction. Uh, after getting the diagnosis, uh, there's multiple ways to treat it. And that goes from taking a pill uh, to avoiding the trigger uh, to being on inhalers. And you know everybody's different and asthma affects you know young and old and um, we look for those signs when we're treating. Now, with all this cold weather that we've been having, you mm -hmm. know, is that something that uh, might trigger it a little more than being mm -hmm. in the warm weather? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when we see our asthmatics, uh, one of the biggest triggers is humidity and cold weather. So usually extremes in the weather will tend to set off patients. And they'll notice worsening breathing, they'll develop worsening wheezing, uh, coughing, um, and they just don't feel well. And these are typically the times where we start to see those symptoms. Now, um, when it comes to either managing or just avoiding, trying to avoid uh, developing asthma in general, you know, what are some tips that you can uh, give the viewers watching? Sure. Well, during our workup, if we can kind of pinpoint what's causing it, the easiest thing is to avoid the trigger. So unfortunately, if you have that cat at home that is making you allergic and having asthma, we try to say, can you do without it? If you can't, then we try managing your symptoms. Um, if it's more of a underlying lung issue, um, you know, we tend to go towards steroids and medicines to help reduce those symptoms. All right, now, um, is there anything else that uh, you'd wanna add, you know, um, about asthma in general? Or? Sure, so asthma untreated has, um, can have a high rate of death. Uh, and it can be pretty severe. Um, even if you're diagnosed as a child and you uh, feel better into your teenage or adult years, it's still usually there and can come back. And so, you know, we suggest that if you have a history of asthma and you still feel short of breath and you come and see, you know, a lung doctor or your primary care doctor, just to make sure you're optimized on all your medications. And anybody with any underlying lung disorder or lung disease should have uh, a flu shot each year and some uh, patients should also have pneumococcal uh, vaccination um, due to the lung problems. All right. Well, you know, thank you for uh, being with us here today to talk a little bit about asthma. Sure. And, you know, that is going to be it for us for Wellness Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining us on Community and You. We'll see you next time here on WILA. Northeast Pennsylvania, scenic beauty, close-knit communities. We're neighbors helping neighbors. Lehigh Valley Health Network is bringing you leading edge cancer treatment that's close to home, robotic surgery for quicker recoveries, world-class heart care and access to top specialists, all from Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton and our 15 community locations. Neighbors caring for greater Hazleton and beyond. Lehigh Valley Health Network. 
It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street or in hometown in the hometown village square. Oh, what fun it is to save during the Big Finish event. Come into All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today. Experience holiday cheer with the new 2018 Ram 1500 Crew Cab with Ram Cargo Management. Save up to $11,750. Or lease a new Dodge Durango SXT all-wheel drive for just $279 a month for 36 months. And get 0% for 60 months plus $1,000 in bonus cash. Oh, what fun it is to save during the Big Finish event at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Pennsylvania Department of Transportation announcing that all driver's license and photo centers will be closed on Tuesday, December 25th in observance of the Christmas holiday. Customers are reminded, however, that driver and vehicle services are available online. You can access a variety of services, including driver's licenses, vehicle registration renewals, photo IDs, and changes of address. If you'd like to find out more about the services, visit D mv.pa.gov and if you are hitting the road for the holidays you can also check out traffic and weather conditions at pendots 511pa.com website or by using the app on your mobile phone that is the news now stay with us a look at the weather is next here on wyln tv When was the last time someone pumped your gas, checked your oil, cleaned your windshield? At Craig's Tire and Auto Service Center, they believe in full service at the gas pump. Craig's also offers full computer diagnostic service, alignments, Pennsylvania State inspections, including emissions, brakes, tires, anything you need to keep your car running perfectly. Let Craig's do the work for you, like they have for over 50 years. Craig's Tire and Auto Service Center, 620 East Diamond Avenue in Hazleton. Jay, I just wanted you to know when we purchase a dealership, we're facing some tax burdens. If we don't take some losses now, we're going to have to pay the IRS. Okay, Jeff, if that's what we got to do, I'd rather give it to the customers than give it to the man. So now through the end of the month, all remaining inventory will be sacrificed. Discounts will never be bigger. Rebates never larger. Don't miss this tax eliminator sale. I'm going to take the deal nobody else will even think about taking. Don't forget about our $2,000 New Year's giveaway. Now to the end of the month. Well, there's $2,000 we can write off.
watching Mono.